Hi guys, back once again for the Renegade Master. Here's um, part two of my set of tutorial vids, trying to build a dub mix. And today we're going to be dealing with vocal cuts. Vocal cuts, I mean taking an acapella and chopping it up and using those different samples, normally in a sampler, to replay the vocal in sort of nice little abstract patterns, etc. So, as you might remember from the last video, my acapella um, was this really nice. Save me, you got to save me, somebody gotta save my soul, this whole world. <laughs> okay, now it's pretty much a full song, but I don't actually want to play this back as a full song. So what I've decided to do is to strip out various regions out of the acapella, and then eventually put it into a sampler track. A nice nifty little shortcut here is Control X, where it will strip out the silence and create separate regions, for example, like that. Now, obviously a lot of these regions I don't need, because they're just going to have tiny little breaths on them, for example, this one here. So what I've done is I have stripped out silence, created the regions that I think are going to be useful in my sampler. Is out of control, and where we're heading, and nobody knows. Right, basically, I want to be able to trigger those samples from my keyboard. So, um, really good way to do this in Logic as well. You can probably do this in various different doors, but I like this, this um, function which is create convert regions to the new sample track um, and you get this window where you choose um, the range across the keyboards and how many regions there are etc etc um, so I've waited for that to cook I've, I've done that already so I've created some sampler I've created a sampler instrument Save me, you got to save me, somebody save me, you got to somebody, this whole world. And then you can see I'm is actually triggering these off the keyboard. It, 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 it. <laughs> Etc. Okay, now I've got the samples that I've cut from the audio. I've mapped them across the keyboard. And now I can start playing funky little patterns um, over the grooves that I created earlier. So, for example, I'll mute that a cappella. You'll be quite creative for this, really. You'll notice that I've labelled all these in green because these three different parts all work together. Maybe that might even work with the original Luke's vocals. So you get the idea. I've recorded a, a few different parts in. For example, there's a, another part which is not going to work with those. So. So get creative with the uh, processing that you've got on each track. For example, on this one, I've got an echo and a high pass going on. Save me, save me, save me. And finally, we've got this. These blue ones here go together like this. I think the key is really is to think of the um, of, of the, the parts that you're playing in with these vocal cuts it's like a percussion element to the track so
so you get the idea. It's not really a vocal part, it's more like a percussive noise that we're using as part of the groove. Okay, so that's that's basically summed up uh, chopping up vocals, stick them in the sample and playing them back like, um, like a percussive part. Another nice little trick that I use, was not really a trick, it's just something I like. Um, for example, you've got a Got my vocal part there. Save me. You got to save me. Save now there's parts of that which I'd like to embellish. For example, chop out a note and put a delay on it. So, got this part here. And what I've done, all I've done is I've copied my my vocal, which is that one there. I've copied it down to a new track and I've just chopped out elements that I want to use as a delay for example let's just go back into this one here I took the mute off that and solo part hey, me. let's take that delay off for a minute or bypass it for now save me you got to save me save me so then i've chosen that part there which is the me part of the phrase me. now if i put the delay back on me, 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 me. i really like that sort of delay it's like a in logic it's an eight dotted dub delay it reminds me of the old tape dub um sort of uh, licks that you used to get on the old reggae dub tracks 70s and 80s it's a really cool effect actually so i've chosen a couple of notes here's another one i want to put a delay on pretty cool so what i've got to do i've, I've cut these where the phrases are for now i can just literally mute the parts i'm not using like so and i'll play this together with the original vocal part it will sound something like this. Save me, save me. You got to save me, save me. Somebody got to save me, save me. You got to save me. Somebody gotta save my soul. And I think that's a pretty cool effect, actually. So, in the context of the whole track, with a groove going as well, sounds a bit like this. That's a pretty groovy effect. I, I use that quite a lot in dub mixes because you want to get that real sort of trippy um, feeling to the track. It's not really about it being too musical and too songy and verse choruses. It's more about in a nice, solid, sort of middle of the night groove when you've got your head down in the middle of the club and you're going for it. That's the sort of sound that I'm into. Okay, so another nifty effect is basically putting a loop on a section of a vocal. Now, again, I've taken, I've stripped out the a cappella, copied it down here, and I've chosen just one part of the track of the a cappella to use. Uh, as you can see there, actually, let's zoom this down a little bit so you can see where I've copied it from. Right, so that's the original one. Copied this audio file down there, and I've made a cut just there. You put a loop on that, you get this sort of effect. Now, again, in the context of the track. <laughs> As you can see over here, I've got the edit window open. And 
this is where you can sort of fine tune the size of the region and the start point, etc. etc. As you can see, I've got it just short of a what would that be a couple of, uh, of a quarter note, um, and it's starting just before bar seven. Just so I can, it's a bit like timing up a record if you're mixing, for example. I want to get that loop sounding pretty, pretty spot on. Sort of goes out a little bit there, but I'm not really worried about that at this point because the next step is if I copy that loop down, for example, like this, copy that loop down. And then I'll set my loop about there. If I do convert those to those loops to sort of regions, for example, like that, what I can then do is this. probably hear this effect quite a lot, especially in deep techie tracks. And all I've got there is I've got an auto filter on the on the uh, track. I've, I'm using a Logic M verb and a low cut as well. Now, I've got to turn the automation on. Basically what I've done is I've got my low, it's like a low pass filter on the auto filter. Which is there. You can see, the way that's automating like that. That's 24 dB, four pole, and low pass filter. And I like the way that sweeps up at the end. That's pretty nifty in the track. Now, what I want to do is I want to save that as an audio sample for later when I do my arrangement and I can drop it in at any point of the track. So all I've done here is I've literally chosen to bounce down this lot here using bounce regions, for example. Um, I don't want to bypass the effects plugin, so I want to bounce it all and keep it as an audio file with all that processing on it. And that's exactly what I've got here. So, we're going to that audio file there. You can see that sort of effects that I've got. Cool. Okay. So there you go. In summary, We've taken the original acapella. I've chopped out all the regions that I want to use um, to make a sampler instrument like that. I've then taken all those individual audio files and created a new sampler instrument. Um, and I've got a few tracks here where I've managed, managed to create a few sort of vocal cut parts, which will be useful later on when I do my arrangement. Um, I've also got the delay effect there, where I've chopped out a small region and put a nice tape delay on it. Got my nice looping effect there, which is pretty cool. Um, and I've converted that looping effect to make this audio, uh, this vocal sort of transition effect that I'm going to use somewhere later on when I do the arrangement. Okay, cool. I hope you like the vid. On to the next one. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.